Hey everyone, Leslie Nicole here with French Kiss Textures. I want to do a quick video today to showing you my preferred method of placing and sizing um, textures. Alright, so here's a view of my finished image. And this was what my file looked like before. And this is the texture that I'm going to place. Now in textures there's often a lot of very interesting edge detail that we don't want to lose and we want to place the texture so that it fits the image exactly. So this is my preferred method of doing this. First of all, you need to open up both your file, your image file, and your texture. If you need to rotate your texture, and in this case I do need to re rotate it, so image, image rotation, I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, I'm going to show you this method both the manual way and then I'm going to give you um, instructions to use a little texture, a little action that I made that will make this even easier. Alright, I'm going to bring up the image size dialog box and I use the shortcut uh, command option I or on PC that would be control alt I and then from my menu I'm going to select window and then go all the way to the bottom of the window and find my image destination file. Okay, and then let go. And you weren't probably able to see that, but the dimensions here in the pixel dimensions change to exactly my destination file. I'm going to hit OK, and you see that automatically resizes it. Okay, now I can either just drag this over into my image and to do that, make sure you're in the Move tool. Select V from the keyboard and drag it over, holding on the Shift key and drop it on. Or, let's, let's um, undo that. You can also, from the Layers panel, do duplicate layer and then in the destinate destination document find your image file hit OK and that also places it so if I change the blend mode let's try multiply you'll see that now the texture fits my image exactly okay I'm gonna back up here I've in the history I've gone back and resized my texture because I want to show you the alternate method that most people use and it's fine too I just prefer the other way okay so let's just drag our texture over before we resized it drop it on I'm gonna hold on that shift key so that it centers it on there and then if I want to resize it I uh, the shortcut would be command or control T that brings up the transform tool I'm going to zoom out here so I can use it if I hold down my option or alt key that will resize it from the center and I have turned on the um, snap to document bounds so that does help so that does the same thing it's not bad I just prefer the other method um, I found sometimes when using the transform tool I can get teeny weeny uh, slivers of edge showing and you don't see it at once and it becomes a nightmare later on so use either way okay if you like that first method I've created a small action that cuts down on some of the steps I've already loaded that action and it's called FK French kiss image size to destination and I've already uh, resized the texture here so that it's back to its original size okay I'm going to just click on the image size to destination and I put a little instruction box here it's called a stop and it explains to you um, that you're going to have to select your destination file from the windows hit continue go up to that window menu find your destination file let go and hit OK now once you've gotten used to this action I've also included a version that says image size to destination 
no stops so you won't get that reminder each time. Okay, I'm going to run through that one more time with no stops real quick here. Okay, image size destination, no stops. Go up to the window, select my destination file, hit OK. And that's it. All right, a final word about the action. I have two folders in there. There's the French Kiss image size and the image size, no stops. There's a text file with a little bit of information in there. And inside each folder, there's a graphic, the ping file for elements users. Photoshop users don't need that. I'm not going to get into how to load the actions here, um, but I have put some good links uh, in the post on the blog if you need help with that. All right, well, I hope this helps, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.